Natalie, just your initial reaction to the headlines as they cross. Huge. This is a huge move over at J.P. Morgan. Who was Gordon Smith? He was the guy that went to Washington last year when Jamie Dimon was ill in the heat of the crisis, right? He has been a longtime deputy at this bank. We have known that this bank has been taking shape in its second ranks for some time now. Uh, think about Marianne Lake here taking different roles. Also, Jen Pipsack, most recently the CFO. They are really moving around the ranks to give people different chances to take on different leadership roles, really building those ranks up, John. Uh, it is a shock, of course, to the market, which is why you do see uh, these, the stock not knowing really what to do here. But it is very much along the lines of the J.P. Morgan playbook, which is build that rank up thick so that they all get different roles and, uh, you know, are able to keep some consistency a around. Deep bench ranks. and a lot of experience, Shanali. And a lot of people will be looking at this and thinking, OK, how does this tee us up for life after Jamie Dimon? If there is indeed life after Jamie Dimon, inevitably there will be at some point over at JP Morgan. Dan Pinto, for a long time, if you press Dan Pinto, Shanali, as you know, he always alluded to this view that perhaps an American needed to leave JP Morgan and not himself. An American would need to lead the company. When I see this this morning, am I thinking about Dan Pinto? Am I thinking about Marianne Lake a little bit more? I... Life after Jamie Dimon. Help me through this. <laughs> it's funny that you say that, too, because it's been a long time now that people have been thinking about what this means for Jen Pipsack and what this means for Marianne Lake. Will a woman run J.P. Morgan next, right? Uh, it, it's a big question mark and a great question for whether an American or somebody who is based between London and New York uh, running this bank. It's getting a huge international operation, to your point, competing very, very heavily with the European banks that have had very tough regulatory constraints. But at the same time, this is the biggest bank in America, and and that's not for nothing. To your point, John, it, it should, it will probably be somebody who is in this country, but with a very global view of the world. If you had a question for Jamie Dimon this morning, Shanali, what would it be? Uh, is his answer still five years? Right? Yeah. He says five years is his timeline, and will he give the market something more to hold on to?